Who? That's funny. <laughs> I'm not sure who they're referring to. I got a text from uh, I got a sec I got a text from somebody uh, and they're talking about hey look my second fight for Australian because they're watching my helmet cam footage. Uh, I'm not sure if they're talking about you or Hardman. Well, that could be confusing. <laughs> yeah, right. Gibbs, Adamson, and Owens are tomorrow. Is everybody ready to go uh, to the briefing? Roger. Hey, Burp. Uh, the rest of us are already here by the task force. Hey, Burp. None of you saw that thing. Oh, I can write that. I'm not seeing that hitching problem anymore. Did you change something from uh, last week? I mean, I just got no, sir. Over a so this is the exact same template from last week. Thankfully, we can talk. Uh, actually, no. Correction. I made one change, but I wouldn't have thought it would create any difference. Yeah, I think Nothing. What was the change? Uh, there was one of the old uh, ACE uh, mission modules on the template from before they wrapped it up into the CDA settings. And there was one of those stuck in an old composition. I deleted that module. That was the only, I believe only module. change. Uh, it was one of the vehicle resupply uh, settings modules. Yeah, it's beyond me, that's for sure. Yeah, correct. Okay. Vehicle resupply, would that consist of also yes. the UAV uh, pain in your throat is uh, battery oh, resupply? Shit, Sorry to hear that, that sucks. What do you say, LG, we can hear you. Yeah, I'll say again, Chief. Go, go the would that also uh, consist yeah, of the yeah, battery uh, resupply for the UAV? <laughs> uh, it wouldn't in theory, but there is a chance. Uh, certainly something we can uh, test out and see if it makes a difference. I think I'll have, uh, I'm trying to do, the do you reckon it's worth putting the UAV <laughs> down to see if it starts hitching? Ooh, yeah. But yeah, it's not going to happen, not right now. We're going to have a, a clean run of testing and then I'll uh, push Captain for it next week. Yeah, Rog. We basically, uh, the only advantage that we've got is that, hey, we're, we're looking from the top down, same way that the map is, so it kind of helps a little. Well, you gotta have to have an initial reference point. Um, what I've been having some luck with is just trying to find smoke when these guys start deploying it. It's a good reference point, kind of. Yeah, that's true. Turn on my helmet cam. See, uh, Green Rose is the only one that remembered to drop his hat. No. And me, I've yet. Can you get a please? Oh, thank God. Drop on a hat. Uh, I don't have that hat at all. Yeah, when you first spawn in, you have it. Yeah. And you, you drop it, and then get your loadout, and then pick it back up. In my case, I dropped the aviators as well. Oh, nice. <laughs> Can't go without the aviators. I'm pretty sure I can get you at his no, seat. Fine. Yeah. Better. I have a search and rescue for you. <laughs> a wild captain? Find the captain. Here, I'll get you a He just ran out the hangar like a minute ago. I'll go find him. What the fuck are you still standing here? Yeah, uh, I got the map marked out. I gotta go fix my uniform. I said I get you a hurt feelings report. So I got the map marked uh, out really bring well. Back you way fucking way. lost with the guys. We'll call him Wayne. In protest, I shall wear a hard cap. Oh man, I used to use these on uh... <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> you won't be able to hear anyone. I like no joke, went into my Sorry? Word. <laughs> yeah. Point! This is where somebody needs to start say? playing the Imperial. You board. won't cover. be able to hear anybody! Hard cover. For fuck's sakes, people that think they invented the damn language should be able to comprehend it better. The hard cover. Look, I probably spelled it wrong. I'll be honest, I didn't hear that. <laughs> yes. 
fading come on. Is that falling off? A little. Yeah, it was. I, I don't know what it, what the fuck am I supposed to wear? Like, there's nothing else there. Like, it's never been an issue. I don't you understand. should have got yourself a, a soft cap before you started. There's, there's none of these cunts in the fucking thing. No, you drop it when you first right, spawn it. this is a robbery, fuck this. Give me yours. You haven't got a magazine in your weapon. All station 7 where we're rallying. Ooh, got that somebody's reached <laughs> Well, that one you can't tell. Yeah, that's not on first time. It looks like rallying yeah. up. Let's go, my minions. I was about to say that first sergeant. Back off, they're mine. Get two R. Where is this here? Perky! What the f... Yes, for Sergeant. Why don't you turn around and look at the man behind you with orange glasses and tell me what is wrong with him? Excuse me, Rip. Specialist Rodriguez. Yes. Uh, no clue for Sergeant. I would like you to take off your goggles so perhaps you are not as blind as Ray goddamn Charles and then take another look at him. <laughs> He's wearing... It's one hairy motherfucker. Thank He's you, wearing... whoever the fuck said that. Russell, get a fucking shave. All right, Wolf, for sorry. How are my minions feeling tonight? Oh, 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 oh. All right. Luckily for us tonight, it is raining, so all of the streaks you guys have left on my window should be cleaned off fairly fucking quickly. <laughs> it doesn't rain on the inside of the vehicle, for sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for dashing my hopes and dreams, Captain. You are always good at it, sir. <laughs> In that case, I'm going to need one of you to assign a specialist to clean the fucking windows inside my truck when we get done tonight. Alright. Somebody tell me what we're training on tonight. Mounted operations. Operations. Oh. operations. Mounted operations. Not training in convoy. There's no fucking rubber duckies. Again, I realize I'm probably the only old one old enough to understand that fucking reference. When you all get home, go watch Convoy Chris Christopherson. You can thank me later. So, we're training in mounted operations tonight. Something that we are not generally great at, but something I love for reasons that some of you know. I spent a lot of time in trucks when I was in country. A lot of time fucking driving from place to place. I personally love it. Generally, we fucking suck at it. All right? So, I'm going to go over a couple of things before we head out like we've been doing. First thing I want to go over is something that Task Force Alpha kind of fucked up a little bit last week. Can anybody tell me when we soft dismount the trucks? Anytime the vehicle stops. Whenever they stop. Stops. Anytime the vehicle stops. How long should the vehicle be stopped before we get the fuck out? Not that long. Approximately zero seconds stop. That vehicle comes to a stop, you better start jumping the fuck out. You do not wait for someone to tell you to soft dismount. You should automatically be doing it. In fact, you better be getting yelled at to get back in the goddamn truck. That is how quickly I want you motherfuckers to get out when that vehicle stops. Is everybody clear on that? Oh. 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 Alright. Obviously, if we're still in a full fucking file and we stop in the middle of the road because somebody is about to get run over don't everybody start pouring out of the trucks use some goddamn common sense there I know it's difficult but just try please for the love of all that is fucking holy try to use some common sense who remains in the vehicle in a soft dismount driver, 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 driver. Driver. <laughs> yeah this isn't even a full task force by the way Timid who's allowed to get out of the vehicle so normally there's about dismount? 10 more people as well First is allowed to get out of the vehicle in a soft dismount. That's everybody but the driver and gunner. There you go. It worries me that only one person answered that when you guys all technically just answered the same exact fucking question. I thought it was a trick, so they probably thought it was a trick question. too. Usually is. Alright. One thing I want to clear up with this, guys. 
All right, yes, yeah, soft dismount, driver and gunner stay in the vehicle. At the same time, again, use a little common sense, all right? I don't want the driver, none of us want the driver just sitting there on his ass all night with nothing to do. At the moment, You're this the driver is 53. Soft this Normally, you we have a server out of the fucking 64. vehicle. Just stay right next to the that vehicle so you're at least in a good enough operators. position. Should the truck need to be moved, you can be in there in a matter of a couple seconds. All right? This isn't like reality. You know, We can get in a truck a lot quicker than what you would in real life. You don't have to stow your weapon. You don't have to turn the truck over, all yep. that bullshit. That's one way you I just hop it. in and pretty much go. Okay, so if you're the drivers, and it only works because of China. Get out of the truck, this. stand next to it, you're fine. Who's generally going to be the gunner up on the gun trucks? The best the shoots best out here. The generally. It's good idea. Right here, right here, top. Who's generally the driver? Right, right, right. Yeah, I gave it a go, but Who's I couldn't get. The I couldn't. Well, use it right. at the same, the uh, same is time at? as when others go. were available right. so, so unfortunately I didn't get a chance to try it out I want to go over that other people only on didn't necessarily own. fuck up but I think but I'm going to get it anyways really get a chance to fully go over it during the sand table with them last week security on the vehicle okay we do a soft dismount and the vehicle's moving or even if it's stopped if we you know traditionally have those two guys inside the truck that means we have eight guys outside the vehicle right so you've got your squad leader and your squad medic and then the other fire team or jesus yeah so uh stream might be freaking out because of the out of the truck um from squad leader the squad rain. medic the other fire team the other two guys from the truck from that same fire team right everybody tracking so far even though i spoke in circles there so that other fire team, if we're clearing buildings and shit, that's what they're doing, right? They're clearing those buildings. That's what they're there for. Squad leader and the medic, they're doing command and control shit. So what is what are the other two guys in that fire team? The fire team that's responsible for the vehicle. What's their job all fucking night? Security. security. Not just rear security. I, I heard you, whoever the fuck said that. It is not just rear security. You have to secure the entirety of that vehicle. So that's when, when we take you guys through OSA and you see that setup where there's one guy at the front right corner and one guy in the back left, that's what we're fucking mm, depicting. I'm not sure. So that battle buddy or that battle buddy team is set up securing that vehicle as best they can. They're both basically covering a 180 around that vehicle. Can't rely on just the gun on that truck to provide frontal security. He can't it's cover the flanks and shit like that that, that well. He can't spin right. that gun around or that turret around that quickly. You guys have to be providing security. Even if it you're light, you know, how many squads are not right full? On the fly. Anybody not full? 3-3 three, three is not full. Top. Okay, how many guys are you short? One per sir. All right. Even if you're short personnel, whether it be one, two, three, three four, whatever, two, the think. security of that truck is still more important than clearing that fucking house. Okay, if we lose that truck, not only did we just lose a ride, we lost a huge force multiplier. Security of the truck is priority number one. Everybody clear on that? Yes, All right. Somebody tell me what the driver's number one job two. is. What's like? Four and twos safe. and two on arms. Keep that truck safe. All right. That's not just while you're driving. Also, while that vehicle is engaging, I've uh, just up my you need bit to keep right that vehicle so safe. Get that truck behind maybe that cover. Will help. Preferably cover that the gunner can shoot over top of. But get that thing behind cover number one. If that gun can't engage, okay, shit happens. We now, at least for that firefight, don't have that force multiplier. But we still need that platform, not only to transport ourselves, Chief, but later on in a different gunfight. When he is able to engage, then it is a force multiplier. All right, so safety of that vehicle is always going to be number one. Another thing, when we're in intersections, please, for the love of seven pound baby Jesus, don't stop your vehicle in the middle of a fucking intersection. I don't know how many times I have to go over this and yell at you guys for it. Stop doing it. I don't care. If there is someone in Genavi. front of you, 
get them the fuck out of the way. If you need to back up, I actually got whatever, my do not stop email. your vehicle in an intersection. Back. Is everybody clear? Alright. Some reason I actually now, when get it comes the email to backing up, I know this is the captain the is fucking stickler on it. When you're backing up uh, that vehicle as a driver, before you start backing oh. up, you need to start blaring that horn. And then the entire time you are backing up, keep hitting the horn. Alright, just like a backup beeper on a fucking FedEx truck. Keep hitting the horn. Do not stop until you are no longer backing up. Alright, makes sense to everybody? Alright. Trucks are a little closely spaced, but can anybody tell me what generally our spacing is going to be in between trucks while we're rolling? 50 meters. 50, 50, meters. Meters. 50 meters. All right. We ended up putting space engineers back up as well, Tim. So we've now commander. got the space engineer server up, and we've got probably 16 or 18 people playing it. Convoy commander. Convoy commander. He tells the lead Vic how fast to go. When we enter a town. Are we going to speed up or are we going to slow down? Slow, slow down. down. Slow down. Um, Who dictates the speed when we slow down? Convoy commander. commander. When we leave the town, are we going to speed up or are we going to slow down? Speed up. Speed up. Yep. Speed, speed up. up. Speed up. This is sort of Who just an elongated version of what I used to Convoy do, Timothy. <laughs> now, can anybody tell me why I, as a convoy commander, I'm not going to tell the convoy to speed up as soon as the lead vehicle gets out of the town. The block the is still in there. there you go. All right, it's going to leave the fucking rear vehicles behind. If you are in that lead vehicle and we are rolling through a town, I will tell you ahead of time to slow the vehicle. You'll call out that you're slowing. We'll enter the town. You'll call out as the lead vic when you're clear of the town. And you'll still maintain that speed. You will not speed up. No vehicle will fucking speed up until I get word that that last Vic has cleared the town. That way we can maintain our spacing. We don't have that stupid slinky effect bullshit going on. Before we get into this last quick thing where you guys are actually going to be moving from this position, uh, Captain, did you have anything you wanted to go over? One thing completely unrelated. Stop calling everyone on the radio actual. Team leaders, you're not an actual. Squad leaders, you're not an actual. The only time you should be using actual on the radio is when you are trying to specifically link up with someone on the radio, such as when you're calling for Havoc 3 and Havoc 3 Romeo answers the radio, you say, I need to talk to 3 actual or 3 6 actual. Or when you're calling company net and someone other than Havoc 7 answers, you say, I need to talk to Havoc 7 Actual. You guys have call signs already. The team leader is 3-2 Bravo. He's not 3-2 Bravo Actual. That's just adding more shit that you have to say on comms. The team leader's call sign is 3-2 Bravo. The squad leader's call sign is 3-2. You don't need to call them Actual on the radio. They already have a call sign. Call but sign I'm is three two, two. Captain. Quit fucking saying actual all the time. That's all I had. All right, thank you, sir. I'm gonna point out something with that real quick. As Cap just said, all right, actual doesn't fucking apply here. You just call them by their normal calling station, whether it's three two or Bravo or whatever. Some of you guys may get a little fucked up because we use the term actual in OSA for the squad leader. Does anybody have any idea why it is we call the squad leader in OSA actual rather than a normal calling station? Because he doesn't have a calling station. He's not billeted as anything other than an instructor. Okay? So don't let that fuck you guys up. That's the only reason actual is ever used in OSA. Because there is no billet for an OSA instructor in terms of a calling station. The only time you guys should ever use that phrase. Is everybody clear on that? Uh, 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 all right. Uh, Lieutenant Teller, did you have anything tonight, sir? Not at this time, Top. All right. So what we're going to do here real quick, you guys are going to set up in a staggered column no, they just got like we're the walking these moment. trucks into town. Okay. 
I so want you guys to pilot, pay I stand here, attention look to pretty, your spacing. This is one nothing. of the only times I am going to give you permission to set up a fucking formation while not moving. You guys know generally if you're in a formation, I am yelling at you to get your ass moving and you can fall into the formation while you're moving. I want you guys to take a minute to get into a nice stagger column alongside of these trucks and out in front of them and out behind all them. All my beds are already set up. So. spacing. And then I want We've all of you to look around, got police the, each other. If someone's too close uh, to you, tell them to back the, the fuck birds. off. So if we're you're all not good close to enough to someone, close up the gap. The all right, is everybody clear on what you're about to do? Doing nothing much. close me, man. All right, make it happen. Get the fuck out of my face. Before we are set. I have a 387. All right, I'll right, get point, three yeah, two. Get this shit going right now. Yeah, make you a point. We lost it. Uh, we just right, watched this desk. Left side of the road. Yeah, hey, firm, load up, load up. Right. Hey, hey firm, I'll get off comms for 30 Sierra. All right, guys, stand by. Load up to the last Vic. Yeah, five off comms, 30 Sierra. It is Ura. Do right, you want us to pull the Vicks out on the road here? Just to get the access. It's actually Ura. Which Vic is ours? It's Army, not Marines. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna be <laughs> that's super fly. Thank you for the follow. Let's get spread it out. All of them get should be in front of the Vic. All right, so we're gonna go back to oh, our uh, oh, five area. Then. We no, have they're just practicing. That's what, oh, I, what I understood. Yeah. Yeah, they're not mounting up yet. All right, stand by for now. Three, four, Charlie. Hey Romeo, we are going to be with support. It's not a move. All right, I'm going to try this last thing again that caused problems. Give me a second. All right. Roger, Chief. I'm good. All right, so we're just waiting for. Who's Romeo? Romeo would be taking a while for the Android map to update, but. There is command element. I like to keep me or something. I hear yeah, so oh, there's Romeo. Yeah, so you popped off my uh, Directly down there. on my team speak, jumped up to like 250. You've seen with the backpack with the antenna. Small, small I know not that word you speak, team speak. Running down there. The E's Romeo. Right, that word does not... Right, so Romeo see. is a radio, is a radius. platoon radio. Yeah, I, don't know what, I don't know what team speak is. Sorry. Uh-huh. That's yeah, kind of why first sergeant's standing right here. <laughs> uh, first sergeant, by the way, we've got a walk on tonight, so he'll be happy to clean the inside of your windows for you. Gonna be needing to clean a lot more when I end up crushing one of these helmets like it's a fucking beer can. You have one saving grace, and that's the six wasn't within earshot of you. No peg out one in thirty minutes, and then I'll be good. Okay, Second comms, Roger, Roger. <laughs> Outstanding. Uh, all right, so you guys are full uh, full up tonight. Uh, we have three uh, full time, and then one walk that uh, is uh, oh, sure. observing tonight. All right, so I'll leave it up to uh, up to you guys what you want to do in terms of if you want to put Warlord and Lancer up. If you're not comfortable with that, or if you just want the actually the walk probably wouldn't be bad hanging out in the fucking co-pilot seat, dicking around with the camera. Uh, so, if you guys want to do that, that's entirely your prerogative. As uh, I already told you in the fucking planning meeting, you guys are going to be on scramble tonight. So, kind of hang out, wait for the call. Once you get the call, all ass. Yeah, pretty much, for Sergeant. So, the plan was to go ahead and have the walk, uh, observe uh, pilot or co pilot Lancer, uh, at least to get some uh, seat time in and can yeah. see what we do. All right, sounds good to me. Uh, you guys can go ahead and stand by, buddy. Buy your birds or hang out here, or go watch the fucking TV, whatever. Roger, Just uh, don't play any card games unless you're putting yeah. money on it, in which case, wait until I get back so I can kick your ass. First sergeant. <laughs> yeah. Do we hear correctly that they're just currently doing a dry run or are they actually stepping yep. off? Nope, just doing a dry run. Roger that. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of us are. Well, Stevie, um, none of the five that I'm with at the moment are, other than myself. Uh, but first sergeant, well, who was just here a minute ago, well, he what? is well, an ex-military contractor. Well, 
he's worked well, a lot of time in Afghanistan. I'm just going to sit here in silence for like 45 minutes. Okay. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Good plan to me. Excuse well, you know, what it problem? really is, this uh, rain is just very soothing to me, and it kind of puts me to sleep a little bit. <laughs> you really want my Gosh. soft top, don't you? D Sir, you have to fucking soft cat. Oh, you know what I did back at base when I was getting my kit reloaded again there, Ring? What? I dropped my tongue cover on the ground. Yeah, it's, you know, syllables. Anyway. and still got sitting my, there? <laughs> got my kit, and it's still sitting there. I'm going to be right back. There you go. If you beat him, you might be able to wear it. <laughs> exactly, uh, Stevie. I'm a warrant officer, so warrant officers in our unit are um, between. NCOs and officers. Is he joining in? Hey, Brown. I have no idea. Have. Yes, he's wandering, wandering into the forest. forest. Chief long. Blair, have you decided to join the infantry today? No, I'm watching. Check this out. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Did you seriously just? No, I, so I'm between NCOs and officers. I sort of sit in the middle. So, although I sort of outrank the first sergeant, and most of the, even the sergeants, walk. you'll always find that we. I'm not afraid uh, to use them. You can have it. I, I just give me a soft cut. That we um, will always respect him, sort of thing. Bok Dask is the me. only one who's. He's actually below a private at the moment. All station 70, be advised, Task Force is banning Bok uh, Convoy time now. Never upside, Gabby. Watch your You do know you could have got your own soft cap, right? I, there's none in the box. No, okay. What you do is you walk up to the box, you clear your loadout. You then get you take the soft cap off your head and reload your you reload your ram um, loader. Uh, get to a yeah, you know what that is, though? I wasn't exactly. on Dagger's frequency. What did I miss? Why would you wear a soft cap in a pilot? They're uh, mounting up and about to head out. Dang it. Roger that. See you back there. Roger. I teleported. Yes, I believe so, Stevie. Uh, I think they got rid of our prep room. Uh, say again? Our ready room. I think they got rid of it. Not sure that I follow. Uh, we had a ready room made for us in one of these hangar buildings. Ah. Yeah, it's gone. Boo. No. Aviators under that visor looks ridiculous. Yeah, I figured that. I don't think I've set up ra uh, radios in Lancer yet. Hey guys, since you're... Mm -hmm. Can you still sit on the weapon with this one? Because of yes, you can. Oh. Yes, I feel very safe having my leg so close to this minigun. Don't worry, I'm working on putting two seats on um, Warlord so they can sit just beside the uh, pilot. That's quite realistic, to be honest. Did you say unrealistic? 
No, I said realistic. I've seen it done before. Yeah, I was going to say, you you Brits have done it before. Hmm. I have seen it in person. Yeah, so we don't go as high as Sergeant Major. First Sergeant is the highest NCO. I have money to fly one of these. Have you got the radio set up on your side? Negative. I, w I was about to ask if you were setting them up. Uh, I'll set them up. I can set them up, though. All right, I'll let you do it. Give you a bit of practice. Is he not getting all on? Say again. Is he not getting all on? No. He hasn't passed oh. day four yet. Oh, I thought you could still go as a what? Are you still to? Uh, yeah. As soon as you, as soon as you've passed day four, or in your case, it was day three. So as soon as you've done the warlord training, you All can. All stations seven zero. This is back. Be advised, convoy is preparing a roll oh, time. Roger. Roger. Um, let me see if I can get something up. This might explain it to you. Um, do 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 do. Is it that one? This is probably going to be really hard for you to st see, Stevie. Okay, hopefully I said them right. So this is the layout of oh, go away of one of our platoons. So this is like Alpha Platoon, Task Force Alpha. These yeah, are your rank fine. caps. So Sergeant would be a team Sweet. would be rank capped at a team leader. Staff Sergeant would be a squad leader where only a sergeant first class would be your platoon leader, and then we only have the one first sergeant, which is part of Alpha Company HQ. Just like we only have uh, one Alpha Company HQ captain. Uh, uh, one for, for um, Deco, which is where I am, and one for 74th Fighter Squadron. So I'm a Chief Warrant Officer too, so... I'm actually currently in a billeted slot for a Chief Warrant Officer 3. We're on scramble tonight, so it's going to be a case of... Ah, oh, okay, we'll just wait for the call to come through and then we'll lift. Yeah, pretty much, Stevie. So, our NCOs and our SNCOs, our senior NCOs, um, they hold leader positions within the platoon. When, while the Welcome back. only officers we've got are platoon leaders and above. So, platoon leaders, um, the company XO, the company CO, and... Uh, fixed wing pilots like First Lieutenant Brownlee here. And I'm not sure whether this is going to work, so. Just to give you a bit of an idea, that is our team speak. So we're all currently in TeamSpeak. You can see all the different nationalities of flags down there. From Vietnamese, Australian, Canadian, primarily US. Um, Leary is Estonian, India, Denmark, Netherlands, Argentina. I've probably missed some others out there. Sri Lanka. New Zealand and so on and so forth. Also, every time I tab out a game, you can see
do I fly in third or first? I switch between it. No, I'm not Canadian, I'm Australian. I just... I just had the uh, Chief Arrain's um, name selected because I was messaging him before. And I flicked between first and third person. And no, I couldn't give orders to a sergeant because I'm not infantry. I'm aviation. Yeah, exactly what Stevie said. Right, most of the time while I'm flying, I'll fly first, mainly because it's a little bit easier. But I'll fly third for landing. Because I don't want to hit myself on any of the stuff behind us. Yeah, I suppose it's just how you practice, Stevie. Like me going through flight school and everything with the 506th, I did 90% of it in third person. Because there was just so much to keep track of during flight school, so it was just a little bit easier. I've got the 4, but I don't use it for rotary flight. I think it's the 4. Then how to tell. I've got a track IR that I use, but that's only for fixed wing flight or DCS. Well, they obviously haven't hit contact yet. Hmm. Chief Adoran and Chief Blair seem to be hiding behind the... Oh, they're out of their VIX. Uh, Chief Adoran and Chief Blair seem to be hiding behind the tower. And this tower? Uh, sorry, behind the building over there. Yeah, track IR is, to me, is very finicky. Um, I'd normally spend about 15 minutes yeah, setting it up. Say again? You know, could come say hello? Ah, uh, sure, why not? So Chief Blair, who you'll see down here in a second, he is my section leader. Chief Adoran is our deco to IC. And then Lieutenant Bowman, who's not in here tonight, or this afternoon I should say, is um, our Delta Company commander. They seem to have dismounted, so they're on foot now. How do you know that? Because I'm looking at their helmet cams. Oh. All Station 7 zero, this is Dagger, be advised, uh, scramble. Hey from Scramble. That's our order, gents. Hey, station. Look, station is that dagger radio check seven zero. Dagger, this is Warlord. Read you Lima Charlie seven zero Scramble. I uh, can copy. We'll see you again. The advised task force is in contact at this time in the town of Hanstead. Base Gravia Lancer gonna be spooling, lifting my contact, warlord spooling. 
Scramble is our scramble means we get ready to oh, take off. The the to direct runway. Every traffic, Warlord show spooling, direct departure to the east. Greywood Lancer 32 is going to be lifting, going to be out to the southeast. Correction, out to the east. If you have any questions for me at any time, just let me know, okay? Roger. Are we heading to a holding pattern right now, just outside of uh, where they're encountering forces? Uh, we will get into a holding pattern, but we get up there first just to check in with Dagger. Greywood Air Base, Lancer's going to be out to your east, signing off 75, transitioning 70 and 71. Good day. Say so good. I say good day, but it's absolutely miserable out here at the moment. I actually rather like the rain. I'm from the desert, so this is kind of new to me. <laughs> Odd as it may sound. Uh, Warlord, this is Lancer on 7 1. Go for Warlord. Can I confirm, are you going to be setting up a pattern to the south? Over? Uh, it'll probably be the southwest. Yeah, it's an A-firm southwest. Um, we've got a pretty low ceiling here, so we're going to have to stay below about 600 meters. Otherwise, the gunner will lose visibility. Uh, well, if you're south, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see anything. Hey, Fermi, yeah, we were just talking about that. Yeah, this is, uh, unplayable. Yay. Tiger, this is Thunder. Thunder, go ahead. Uh, be aware that our cameras are ineffective, we cannot see anything uh, above 5,000 meters, and that is the same for Warlord. I uh, good copy because of the uh, weather. You keep going out. Is that because of the weather, Thunder? Uh, I wouldn't say it's the weather, it's more of a, uh, an error, you understand? Okay, copy. Uh, so what does that mean for your current recon capabilities inside the town of Hampstead? Uh, for myself, it's a solid no. Second th thunder, it's a solid what? No. Okay, good topic. Dagger Lancer on 7-0, we're going to be a little bit lower. Can you advise us of the possible, any, any possible AA threats? Uh, I have got a uh, lot to be advised, uh, none, none believed at this time, so what? Rog, we'll try to keep below the uh, cloud deck and see what we can see. Good copy, Thunder Dagger 7 uh, Do you know how to use your camera? Negative. So, right, uh, control right click. Control right click. Okay, I I'm on a laptop. Uh, well, go ahead. Uh, stand by for checking. Uh, negative. Stand by. Thunder Dagger seven zero. Go ahead. Thunder, what range do you guys have to come inside of in order to get good visual? 
I need to be under 2,000 meters and see how many so at any point sorry. So you have to be uh, in terms of altitude. What would your distance be? Uh, off our nose, orbit? so straight so ahead of us. Be running at like an there's a town. Orbit. Uh, yeah, I still can't, yeah. Yep, see if you can spot there. anything in there. I'm gonna have You're to keep us down. moving Roger, in case fella. Dagger was wrong and there is AA threats. Beware, you keep uh, cutting out every time. Roger. Roger. Is there a way to switch modes to IR? Yep, November. Yeah, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna have to say what last name would be because this one the crash it. It's a game yeah, laptop, well but. Armor's just one of those games that you're always going to have really uh, crappy Stand by Warlord, Thunder, be advised you're clear to drop altitude in order to gain eyes. Warlord, go ahead, check in. Uh, just one quick number check in, uh, just be advised I got a BTR, uh, just outside of the town of Schlakau, if I pronounce that right. Okay, good copy. Uh, go ahead with check in. Uh, Schlakau is two towns further east than this one. I am approximately 3.5 kilometers to the southwest of your current position at 430 meters. Break. Weapon systems reading full load on the guns. Four times 114 kilo limas. Uh, four times 114 uh, limas. Correction. Kilos. I am DCS and laser are capable. Abort code is abort. Fuel tanks reading at 95% bleeding. Flight time is 0 plus 90 minutes. Warlord is on station and ready for tasking. So I copy all that I read back at 3.5 kilometers to my southwest at uh, 430 meters. Weapon systems reading as full load on the gun. Four kilos for lemurs. Fuel systems reading at uh, 0 plus 90 minutes. Uh, play time with an abort code of abort. Uh, good copy, you see advised current tasking at this time is going to be uh, reconnaissance over the current town we're in. Let us know Roger. what we're uh, fighting off, so then I'll get uh, other yeah, town sure. reconnaissance uh, when requested from task force command. We are getting a bit far and starting to lose the uh, EO in the fog. Uh, you might need to increase your view distance. Dagger, Lancer 70, advise when ready for curse tricking. Lancer, I am ready. Lancer, I'm ready, go ahead and check it. Dagger, this is Lancer 32, flight of 1 times AH6, Mike Littlebird. I'm going to be 1 kilometre to your west at Angels 1. Well, uh, weapon systems are reading full load on the guns. And three eight thirty eight hydro rockets. I am DCS laser and fact capable fuel tanks at nine uh, four percent and bleeding for a playtime of zero plus five zero. A ball code is going to be boomerang over. Good copy, Lancer. One kilometer to my west of Angels One. Weapon systems are full out on the gun thirty eight hydro ball code boomerang. Dagger Lancer, good copy. I'm going to assume that we've got the same tasking as Warlord over. I have found same tasking of all over here, this time. It's honestly not going to be a lot that aviation assets can do tonight because of the fog. Yeah. And Stevie, it's not technically ATC, it's CTAF. Stop, ridiculous. <laughs> You'll hear a lot of that. That's uh, First Lieutenant Brownlee. Is aviation not supposed to be using our tablets either? No, we oh. are the only people who are permitted to use them. Same with Task Force Command and Platoon Lead. Roger, just making sure. If we were filling in as 11 Bravos, then no, we would not be allowed to use them. Oh, you can chuck him at Discord if you want.
Lancer, this is word on 711. Same for uh, Lancer on point one. Actually, I'll say this on 7 1. This is Warlord. Be advised all stations. Uh, to the southwest and south, there are some uh, BTRs and other targets up there, so I caution going that direction. Rog, Lance is going to stay up to the north then. Thanks for the advice. Yeah, no worries. We're also set up to the northwest. If you have a. Are you talking the long range or are you talking short range? Short range. I'll copy my last thunder. Yeah, I had you just go from over to this. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it's starting to lose things in the or lose the town in the fog again. Uh, if the weather doesn't yeah, improve, unfortunately, I will just back myself off. Not a whole lot we're going to be able to do. Roger. I don't know about yourself, but as soon as I go over 2,000 meters, I just see a full whiteness. Yeah, if I'm anything over, well, I haven't even ventured above the cloud deck because I know that I'm not going to be able to see shit. Yeah. If you have a look down below, there's a um, Discord link. Stand by. Actually, send it to Uniform. Uniform, this is Swirler. Go ahead. Yeah, I was just uh, wondering uh, what your frontline trace was to the north of the town you're currently in. A uh, wall of power, power Uh, what's the furthest north uh, you have troops? I'll be by description, you might just follow it back on the end of the time, but I'm gonna go for quick one and what you know. I'm all in the Just seeing uh, some bodies up here. I'm not sure if uh, they're alive or not. So, but I uh, was just going to double check. So, I'll stop the uh, standby. I'll stop to have a crisis. Are you pretty much maintaining a hover right now? I'm in a slight, slight uh, left-hand pitch. So I'm trying to keep the nose as as forward as possible for you. is kind of inconvenient. It makes everything black and doesn't have like regular features stand out as well. Yeah, on the AV, uh, the rotary asset side, they're well, station fairly crappy. Stag and be advised, you guys can opt to either remain on station at this time. We can return to air base break. Be advised, task force is preparing to continue rolling along our patrol route at this time. Approximately, probably one mic to rolling out. A firm Warlord copies of be advised uh, the next town up uh, on your MSR. You do have a, a bunker right there at the beginning of the town, uh, just so that you're aware. Uh, good copy, be advised 3-4 uh, has spotted. Uh, they've decided, decided they can't engage from this location, so we're going to push the convoy up and re-engage. Charlie, go uh, regarding last transmission from Dagger. Uh, it's at the pilot's discretion. 
Uh, if you want to return to base or stay on station, over. Thunder, Dagger 7 there. Uh -huh. uh, Thunder, can you give me a check in sometime just so I know what you've got on board, but I'm assuming it's basically standard? It's exactly the same as usual. So I'll copy 6 Mark 82, 6 GBU, 6 HDMs, full load on the gun, playtime 0 plus 120. I'm almost impressed. I gotcha. As you can tell, Branley doesn't change very much in his loadout. <laughs> Warlord Thunder, this is Lancer on 71. Can I confirm, are you guys going to be staying on station or RTB to Great Warlord Thunder. I'm already back at base. Roger. Well, I'm only calling you because you already mentioned it. Have you guys yeah, got going to be staying on station that that down other than that um, bunker position on the edge, as previously noted? Uh, a firm. It's just uh, some scattered infantry for now. Uh, and then uh, when you want it, we can give you a more detailed uh, report. Uh, let me for the let's next see if you, town after that. Do you see anything out but in the right town now, now for hours? Uh, I'm gonna need you to say again, sorry, all of us. Other than the bunkers already mentioned, yes, nothing else. Well, go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah, for the next town that you guys are about to enter, uh, looks pretty light. Uh, I'm seeing a few hot uh, thermal contacts on the uh, far west side there, and then that. A rotary pilot. Really uh, good for now. So, you, with the 506, okay, you do recruit break. training. I think I see someone in the bunker. I advise at this time that you guys can relay. Uh, what you spot in the future towns, but be aware that it's not going to be relayed to the task force or we're not going to act on it at this time until we actually make contact in those towns. Hey, firm, uh, just uh, whatever your preference is. I'm happy to not know about it. He doesn't want to know about impending doom. So, as a pilot, we're all trained as 11 oh, brothers. I see two guys. Three guys, four guys. Also, Warlord, Dagger, Fibber. Sure. Warlord, interrogative, I just want to clarify on your check-in. I feel like I may have missed some of your pylons because I've only got you at four kilos, four lemurs, which leaves two pylons open. Hey, Firm, uh, yeah, it's, uh, y you didn't miss them. Uh, we just didn't specify. Uh, so to clarify, there's going to be an additional uh, two times aim, nine x sidewinders, and 38 hydras over. So I'll copy, I have your two aim nines and adding an additional 38 times hydro. Yeah, it looks like a squad sized element out on the west. I know See, Decker doesn't want to know, but. Just me. Yeah, that's always helpful for me to know, though, in case we need to do rocket runs. Seven one. Say again, seven one. You want to provide more detail, or, uh, uh... Is he coming out for you? No, I can see... Negative, uh... I can see your screen. Early. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, those guys. Oh, uh, do you have that little pop-up display right in front of you? Yep. Okay, that's helpful. So, you do recruit training, which is virtually just to get all your mods sorted and everything. But that was BTR for a second. Um, then you do four days of OSAT, which is one station unit training, which is basic, which is our basic training. Um, from there, you can ad uh, adopt to be either an 11 Bravo, which is an infantryman, or a 153 Alpha if there's a spot open. Um, If you decide to become a 153 Alpha, you then go uh, through five days of flight school. Each day takes, uh, for OSAT and flight school, they take about three hours each. And then once you, so at the moment, Wok Dask is going through flight school, that's why he's a Wok, he's a warrant officer candidate. Or a warrant officer child, if you want to call him that. Um, and then once you graduate, you become a Warrant Officer 1. And then from there, you can 
you proceed through the ranks as normal. Uh, I'm going to swing back to where the task force is. Roger. Oh, task force is laying down fire at the moment. Dagger this. Dagger, this is Lancer. Can I confirm you guys have got traces out on the bunker? Yeah, I was just about to call you guys up. We are troops in contact at this time. It's all American time though, so it's very hard to do it as an Australian sometimes. I just got to back up. I got a bit too close there. Yeah. I thought the picture was a bit too clear. I just don't want one of those buildings to hide a BTR and then said BTR comes out and swacks me. That would not be fun. All station 70 be by task force is in uh, additional contact now on the north side of the road as well as on the south side of the road. Warlord, Roger. Lancer, Roger. You see that guy? Okay, that little copse of trees off to the uh, off to our right, right before the town. There's some guys hiding in that if you need to run anything. Yeah, well, we've been told virtually don't bother calling it up to Dagger, so I'm not even gonna bother. Unless they call in for a run, we're not gonna call anything else. Exactly. Roger. Oh, that's good practice anyway. Dagger, Lancer, Tally, Red Smoke. No intel, stand by. So, one of the things you really look for is that red smoke. That's where enemies are? Yeah. Because if we get a call of hit that, we're going to hit that. We're not going to bother about who's there, whether it's friendlies or not. We're just going to hit All station 70, disregard red smoke. All station 70, disregard red smoke. Roger. Lancer, Roger. And that is why, if you remember during OSAT, they told you to always make sure you call it up. How about the red smoke that you throw? Oh yeah. But you don't want to get schwacked by the air assets. Does mortar hit red smoke too? Uh... The mortars will if they can see it, uh, but primarily um, they won't unless they've had a order from Task Force Command. Cedric, thank you for the follow. Does mortar section ever coordinate with us when they got rounds in the air so that we don't get anywhere near that area? Uh, Dagger will. Uh, mortar section won't because they're not on our frequencies. Roger. Someone keyed up. Dang, they are in some close contact down there. In other words, we're not going to get anything in here. Dang, here, you want it? A wall, a second. Uh, uh, I was just wondering, uh, did you guys lose a truck in the previous town over? Uh, yeah, I believe it was uh, technical. Uh, it got replaced for us. Yeah, for himself, I'll copy. I'll have a look at that video later, Stevie. I just spotted it come through.
Seascope. Thank you for the follow. Uh oh, those guys on the west side moved. Infantry will figure it out, quick smart. All station 70, this is Dagger Interrogative. Are you seeing any troop movement inside the town at this time? Anything other than just one or two random fucking happy half tides running around? You've got some down there, don't you? Right, anyway. Negative, I don't see any down there at this time. Dagger, oh, Lancer, so we've got minor, uh, minor uh, infantry contacts down there. Over. Uh, solid copy, Lancer, can you clarify minor? Are we talking groups of two, groups of four? Squad size element on the west side. A uh, squad size element on the west side, over. I'm assuming 7 to 8 is squad size. Yeah. Okay. Alright, good copy, squad size element. Can you uh, give me any indication of how far north that is? They're just north of the MSR, right behind the walk wall at the edge of town. Okay, you're gonna have to say that out to me again, as I say. Dagger, this is Warlord. Uh, just to kind of jump on what Lance was talking about. Actually, uh, you the can only say I see you can actually are, do it on uh, immediately off to the want. east side of the town. Shit, I said west, didn't I? They're on the east. Dagger, disregard Lance. They're out to the east, not the west. Over. Sorry about that. Dagger, copy. Have relayed to the platoon. Uh, can we just confirm additionally that we have uh, no dagger, Lancer? You cut off there, Sagan. Uh, Lancer, interrogative. Uh, can you push any further out from town? You look crazy close. <laughs> yeah, A firm. We're just on the edge of camera distance at the moment. Okay, copy, Sagan. Uh, Dagger, uh, do you want to report outside of the town to the east, or do you want us to uh, wait? Ooh. Warlord, uh, Lancer, bad advice. I've just seen an explosion from down in town. Not sure where the dagger was near it. Uh, Lancer, this is Dagger on 7 0 be advised, if you take, uh, any contact whatsoever, you guys need to get the fuck out. Yeah, Afen, that was but the plan. you're okay to... Yeah, you're okay to stay there for now, given the camera in. Dagger, yeah, this is Tony, be advised, Thunder's uh, going on to be um, combat effective and probably will be for the rest of the mission. Uh, solid copy, Thunder, uh, interrogative, is that just due to the TGP visibility issues? Yeah, there is literally no way of me seeing anything. Uh, it's, it's pointless me being here. Alright, uh, Thunder. I can copy Thunder. We'll talk about it after the fact break. Uh, did, are you going to stay on Scramble if I can get you a fixed grid for some cat? Honestly, I can't see anything. I can't do anything because of this uh, this cloud. Have a good one, Superfly. Okay, good copy. Uh, go ahead and collect what info you can. Uh, this is there. a private server hosted by the 506th Infantry uh, Realism Regiment uh, Infantry Regiment Realism Unit um, This is just one of three task forces that we have over a fortnight period I'm guessing you're virtually ineffective at this instance Or can you still see stuff? I can see where our units are, but past that it's not much. Well, Actually, scratch it, I can see pretty far. Just a quick FYI weather-wise, uh, the ceiling is currently about 400 meters and been falling throughout the task force, so throughout the mission. Okay, good copy. So does Lancer usually stay this low in comparison to Warlord? Uh, we'll normally stay a lot lower than Warlord, but um, no, normally we'll be five, six hundred meters. Just because of fog today, we're staying lower than usual. Yeah, because that way 
we try to deconflict um, our airspace so we're not at the same altitude as Warlord. So Warlord's currently up at about 400 meters. Uh, we're down a lot lower, so we don't run into each other. Uh, yeah, it will hopefully be coming up within the next couple of days. Just sort of been busy with IRL stuff, so... Warlord, this is Lance Ryan 71. Go for Warlord. Uh, be advised, if we start taking fire, we're going to have to RTB because we're going to be. If we start taking fire, we're going to be combat ineffective at this distance and uh, height over. If I'm, yeah, that's a solid copy. Just uh, you know, keep in mind that there are some uh, heavy armor and stuff uh, a little bit further to the east of where they're at now. Yeah, AFM, as soon as I see the first shot come at me, I'm RTB. AFM, solid copy. Does he'll be coming up, coming back up, probably within the next next couple of days at least? Is this usually how most missions go? Just a lot of reconnaissance and then everyone somehow doing a run? Uh, yeah, this is more. Uh, you'll find that the FTX cycle is normally a lot less. Um, what's the word? Aggressive. Yeah, it's a lot less aggressive. Is probably the, it's. It's a lot less for us to do, because the infantry are working on sandbox stuff. Okay, I actually rather like doing reconnaissance for the most part anyway, so... Yeah, reconnaissance in Warlord is a lot easier uh, than it is in Lancer. Normally we won't use Lancer for that much reconnaissance. It's just that because you haven't passed day 4 yet, we can't actually um, put you in Warlord yet. In the gunner seat? Yeah. As soon as you pass day 4, before you've done your ATX, you're permitted to gun for Warlord. And we'll, try, we'll definitely try to get you in, in for that. But until that time, unfortunately, you're stuck at the co-pilot seat. That's all good. So if I completed flight school and I was sitting in co-pilot of, uh, of Lancer, what would my duties usually be? Uh, normally we would have a different loadout, so we'd probably have LIGAR rockets, so laser guided hydras. So you would be, I would be in charge of flying, you'd be in charge of the rockets. Did we just take fire? Four station seven zero, he's got traces go up. Yep, we've just had... North side of town, I saw traces go up in the sky. Yeah. Dagger, Lancer, we've just had traces come up to us. We're going to be pulling off a fair bit, and we, if need be, we're going to RTB. Good copy, Lancer, stay safe. Yeah, be advised, it was only small arms fire, though. Understood. I did manage to catch a glimpse of that vehicle before we got shot at. Well, I roughly where it was. Go forward, look. Okay. 
Well, I'd be advised uh, we're not anymore a on that uh, small arms that Lancer just took, so that we can uh, probably put havoc for them. Uh, solid copy. Um, I don't know exactly which group uh, was shooting at Lancer, but uh, I can give you a good guess. We'll take it. Uh, Dagger, uh, got uh, one time, a uh, correction, two times squads, uh, grid ref one, tree eight, six, seven, and niner. Uh, it's going to be just to the south of the road as it turns back east. Over. Well, it's again grid one, three, eight, six, seven, niner, correct? Affirm, that is the correct. So, yeah, um, We'd have a different loadout, so you'd uh, have well, control of Ligers. Like they were coming from the north so you'd be able to laser your own targets uh, and fire at them when there. needed. And I'd have the I'd have probably either that the fifty cal gun or the two um seven point six twos. Uh, Alright, Dagger, new grid is one four two six. But eight, most of the time four, we won't run a uh, lancer with uh, two qualified squad, pilots. Uh in uh, looks like a column formation. Maybe two warlords. <laughs> No, we're not permitted to have okay, two okay. warlords up. Uh, yeah, we're allowed to have be, uh, right one warlord that, uh, and two, uh, one warlord or and one lancer or two lancers and whatever phoenix birds we need. So you'd normally have one person sitting at base waiting for resupplies or reinforcements and doing resupply drops. Warlord interrogative, can you engage those uh, groups with the cannon? Uh, Affirm, do you want uh, the ones to the north? Stand by, Willard. Standing by. Lancers, Warlord, I'm going to be crossing your nose here at 330 meters AGL. I need to get a better angle. Warlord, Lancer, good copy. Uh, we're going to keep out IP November over. Roger, we're just uh, slightly south of you here. Yeah, we've got visual on you. Warlord, Dagger, up here. Go for Warlord. Well, I'd be advised you have clear type 3 control on those two groups of enemy infantry at this time. Task Force is putting out green smoke right now. Uh, and stand by for clearance on the BTR zone. Hey, firm, uh, going on the north target first. Hey, good copy. Well, I'd be advised extending type 3 clearance at BTR as previously noted and marked on the map at this time. Affirm. Sound affirm. Roger Wallard, uh, confirming you have eyes on our green smoke at this time. Solid copy, eyes on green smoke. on that BTR specifically. I, know I can hear you with the guns, just checking on the BTR. Hey firm, uh, we'll change the BTR. Say again, Woolen. Hey firm, uh, we'll uh, switch to engage that BTR. Okay, good copy. Does Warlord have a better uh, camera payload than Lancer usually does? Yeah, they do, five, yes. Give me an approximate flight time if you can. Hey firm, flight time is going to be approximately 5 seconds. Rifle. Just to break the a bit as well. Can you give me it a, uh, depends on how that, your computer uh, is set up settings time. wise for distance and whatnot. Standby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if the fog's artificial or if it's part of my distance, but I did set everything to 10k. Dagger, well, not everything. Run, looks like uh, 90 over 100. Uh, over. 
Good copy, Warlord. Was that on the uh, southeast or northeast side? Uh, that was on the north side of the town. Uh, Good copy. You still have Type 3 on the group on the south side as well. Affirm. Also, be advised, uh, VTR is critical. Yeah, eyes on Warlord. Thank you. Guns, guns, guns on the southeast. You can tell Warlord's engaged. Warlord back at 7 0, abort, abort, abort. Aborting. Did Warlord shoot a Hellfire? No, I, I think they've got, they did one against oh, the BTR. Dagger, uh, be advised, uh, those what? last rounds Warlord, were... Uh, uh, be advised, uh, we're going to call that complete cast on that top three control at this time. Uh, good work, thank you very much. Solid copy, complete cast. Uh, be advised, that last uh, gun run there at the end, off to the south of the MSR, uh, there are still uh, about uh, one times squad of troops. Good copy. Lancer Warlord 711. Same for Lancer Point 1. Say current altitude. Uh, we're currently at 200 meters AGL. Roger. Uh, I'm gonna go over your head back out to the west. Yeah, Rog, we'll switch places. I'll stick up the north. Roger. Uh, I'm gonna stay above 250 or, or greater. Yeah, Rog, I'll stay below 200. Give us good separation. Roger, we're loaded. Thanks for the uh, space and accommodation there. That was the perfect spot for us to be sitting. No problems. Couldn't effectively fly though uh, while my gunner was doing his job because this ceiling here is just messing with our uh, flight controls. Is this ceiling still coming down on us? Um, uh, you know what? Let me find out. I'm gonna pop up there and see how, where it starts to kick in. We might have to s set down soon and uh, put our nods on. Yeah, it is getting dark. Lancer, um, I'm pushing up like to 600 meters now and I'm still below the deck. Well, just beginning to encroach on the deck. Yeah, Rog. Or rather, not the deck, the ceiling. Yeah, ceiling. Wallet in already. Do you have eyes on that uh, squad size element on the south side of the MSR at this time? You got that one? Uh, a for you're talking about the one we were engaging earlier. So again, that. Do you, the, uh, you see that squad that south side of the MSR? Board. A for yeah, we have eyes. All right, good copy. Be advised, uh, Task Force HQ is pushing on that right now. Negative, it's too far out. We've advised the yeah, platoon to push a squad into that to clear it out. But if you can keep an eye on it and let me know, that'd be great. Uh, hey, Firm, uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. So it looks like the majority of them are uh, to the southern edge of uh, where those two fields meet. I think it's going to be best for us just to RTB for the moment and stay on scramble. Good copy, Wallet. So we're not yeah, going to be and, much uh, use up here. Uh, adjust that uh, infantry mark. I have placed down. Uh, go for it if uh, that helps. Jagger Lance is 7 0. Let's go ahead. 
Uh, be advised, we're going to be off station back to Greywood waiting for a scramble call. We're currently uh, fairly ineffective at the moment due to distance and the uh, cloud ceiling at the moment. Good copy. Agathus Willard, uh, be advised that Mark is actually uh, right on. Uh, say again, Willard. Uh, be advised, uh, your red phone mark is uh, right on. Good copy. Warlord Lance from point one. Go for Warlord. Yeah, be advised, we're going to be back to Greywood. Let us know if you need us for anything. Uh, a firm solid copy. Greywood Air Base Lancer again? currently out to your east. Yeah, Going to be straight to Rearm Refuel Pad. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, sorry, I need to get your last transmission. I uh, copy. I was just saying, in order, do you see the 40 uh, HE grades we're putting in that tree line? Uh, that's a negative. Good copy, no problem. I was just uh, looking for adjustments on my rounds, but no problem. Uh, we're, we're still talking about the same tree line, correct? Uh, the tree line that's currently packed full of tracers? Uh, sorry, yeah, I don't actually have uh, very good visibility through my visual sights. Yeah, no problem. Uh, we have pretty terrible visibility here on the ground as well, and it's like 100 meters away from me. Uh, actually, uh, correction, uh, yeah, I do see those tracers now. Okay, good copy. Uh, can you give me an update on what's uh, left in that tree line? Greywood Air Base, Lance is going to be out to your east, going to be direct to the refuel and rearm pad. Greywood. Uh, if it looks like uh, three times uh, infantry um, that I can actively see uh, moving around. Good copy, Anderson. Uh, I'm counting the memory port of the north side of that line, but not going to take it. Uh, a firm, yeah, it is the northern uh, section of that. I'll just keep telling you what.
Greywood Leeds is going to be spooling down at refuel rear. Uh, Roger, I only caught you're about one by five there. Um, yeah, Fridley's are going to be too close. You know how to refill the refill the birds if we need to? Negative, I don't know how. Alright, walk up to this truck, interact on it, go refuel, and take the fuel nozzle. Then go do the same to the helicopter? Yep, you should be able to interact on there, on there somewhere and refuel it. So it'll start refueling, yeah? Yep, refueling. Do we usually hop in to check the gauge, or do we just... 3-1, this is 2-1, radio check on 7-1, over. Any station 7-1, no. how copy? See how if you... Uh, two one. This is three two. Read you Lima Charlie on point one. Three uh, two one. This is three two. Read you Lima Charlie on point one. Tango, this is Waller. Waller, go ahead. Tango, Mike. So, Waller, go ahead. See how go now when you interact on the nozzle, you can go disconnect fuel nozzle. Yep, yep that means that it's um, finished. Then you just walk up to there and put it back. Oh, you don't want to refuel the truck. Gunner has some bent comms. He's going to just do a quick check of the radio. We'll be with you shortly. No traffic. There, it's on the ground. Try again. I'm fine. It's not me. It's my gunner. Just give him a second. He's got to check his batteries. Okay, good copy. I'm running with the whip out for... If it, just in case it helps now. You're running okay. what? Yep, hold on. Uh, running with the whip antenna out, just in case that uh, helps out with his issue. Yeah, solid copy. Now we just sit and wait. Should we start putting on NVGs? Yeah, I got mine on. Yeah, this is Warlord. Looks really check ridiculous over. with the patrol cap though. Well, this is Dagger, I got you 5x5 five five on 357 I don't think we need to use them at the moment, but it's probably good just to have them on. Do you copy on? Sort of feel sorry for the Warlord pilot because he can't use nods with his system. Warlord Dagger, 7 zero. in a row here. Do you have eyes on my laser this time? Uh, if you've got your tablet, you can view Tech Sergeant Hardman's uh, helmet camera. Realize lasers only for vague positional guidance. But you don't eyes on it specifically to that area. Uh, what, uh, what, uh, what style is, uh, IR? Uh, negative. It's a handheld laser designator code quad one. So you hear how he's lasing something at the moment? <laughs> Dang, this is Warlord. So um, what's happening there is I he's see using his laser designator, now. pointing it at a spot and shining a little okay, light. Copy. We're having some issues down here, so like... For us, that would yeah, mean right. that we'd have to switch to night vision on the camera. Uh, sorry, not night vision, thermal vision on the camera to be able to see that spot. And that would that's just to give us a rough indication as to where we're meant to be looking. Can uh, Dagger also lays targets for something like Hellfires to make contact with? Most definitely, yeah. Uh, that will regularly happen. Um, if you switch to your MVGs and look at me now... Mm -hmm. Have you got your MVGs down? Yep. Uh, you'll see I'm flashing. All station seven I've one, got an IR uh, grenade on me. High rep. Just be advised, we've got the ceiling is uh, raising right now. I'm currently at 950 meters AGL. 
Is that yes, not uh, a or a deploy thing? No, that's... Uh, I've just attached a IR grenade to me. Uh, what Dagger would normally do is, especially for nighttime ops, they will attach an IR grenade to themselves. So, through thermal... Uh, through night vision, we can actually see where they are. Makes it a bit easier for us. To figure out which laser we're supposed to be looking at. Yeah. Warlord, this is Dagger 7 Derek. Go for Warlord. I would uh, be advised again, uh, just uh, passing on our compliments for the cast earlier and requesting a RTB for further scramble as required. A firm, solid copy, uh, returning to base. Should we clear Rihanna yeah, every time? this time, take a mic, we'll add, uh, touch the thing. Yeah, we probably should. Greywood Air Base, Lance is going to be spooling at refuel, rearm and repair. Greywood Air Base, Lance is going to be lifting from refuel, rearm back to Lance's pad. Greywood traffic, Warlord, four kilometers to the east, runway three five downwind. Man, it is starting to get dark. Yep. I hate flying in so. Because it has no mass. It's just a very finicky bird to fly. Railway traffic, Warlord, right base, 3-5. Greywood Lance is going to be spawning down on the pad. Right, now right, that we're getting into forward, the time right. where Sorry, we've final, got, we need to use MVGs, can you guess what one of the things we need to remember to do when we're taking off and landing. I'll give you a tip. Lights on and off? Yep, collision lights. Don't so much use them during the day, but as we're coming in at night, there you go, there's Lancer out there. Uh, Warlord, sorry. You'll see they've got their collision lights on already. I'm not seeing them. I really shouldn't mess with my specs a bit then. Yeah, so just out there coming off the end of the runway. Still not seeing it. Oh, now I see it. I think it's Chief Adrian who's flying at the moment. All stations 7 0 be advised, task force is pausing exercise at this time. Roger. Also good to know I have comms 
Good to have company back at the event. Uh, Roger, I agree. Greyway traffic. Warlord is clear of active. On currently taxiing, Mike 1. Back All to station Hill, 7 0 be advised you're clear to remain at the airwaves at this time. Roger. Especially during FTX cycles, uh, this pro being aviation is probably one of the least exciting things. But as soon as we come to an operation, we will be absolutely flat out. And that's mainly because FTX is here for training the ground troops and not as much us. Exactly. We have our trainings, just like they have their squad trainings, but this is more like a platoon training for them. I thought they'd go to the rearmory fuel point. Uh, they would have enough fuel, um, unless they needed um, to rearm that, which I'm guessing they don't, because I don't think we've had enough. Um, they're probably good over there. I'm going to head over to them anyways. We coming to you. Oh yeah. Um. By the way, Chief Clerk, if I can stop walking, what the hell? Come on. Huh. Hey, hey, uh, hey. Can you tell me why you parked these Blackhawks in the taxiway? What? <laughs> I'm just asking why the black box are parked in the taxiway. I don't know. Ask S4. <laughs> S4 missions, not S4 mods. There you go. Oh, by the way. What's up? Um, what do you call it? Captain Warren had a good point because he's watching the stream. He's like, um, when, you're, when you're joining the downwind, right? <laughs> Yep. Um, from, let's say, like, midpoint down the runway. You'd often call it, like, a midfield. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. The same thing if, let, let's say, you want to join the right downwind, but you're on the opposite side of the of the airfield, right? Yeah. Like, you're coming in from the west, but you want to join the eastern side downwind, right, to be able to land runway 3-5? Yep. You'd be like, crossing midfield to join downwind basically so your people would know that you're coming in from the west you're crossing midfield and then you're going to be you know joining the right downwind so that's like it. that's like that's like flying over the runway yeah exactly but you'll be doing it like usually if you're going to fly over the runway you do it at the midpoint not on one end or the other makes sense Good point there, Dustin. <sighs> Alright, um... Gonna go grab some water here, see if I can save off this headache. Be right back. Yeah, did you figure out, did you figure out uh... Grab some why you're well. learning to walk? What? Yeah, you figuring out how to walk? Is that like a walk joke? No, uh, walk. W-A-L-K. That was, I don't know, that was just a weird glitch. As soon, when I walked over here, and I released the button... Is that the sort of just... thing that happens when you get to Chief 4? Oh. <laughs> Good lord. 
<laughs> Be right back, guys. Rudge. Right. What you got been going over? A uh, Sagan, sorry, Trey. Well, I was just wondering uh, what you were going over. Oh, just basic stuff. All right, hey, I'm gonna go uh, grab the recent truck and uh, rearm this puppy. Yeah, Rod, you guys should be pretty good on fuel, aren't you? Uh, yeah, we're we're good, but uh, you know, I like to go ahead and fill everything up anyway. Wouldn't it be easy to take the bird over there then? Uh, I got time. <laughs> Okay. Might as well take but, Dask with you. But, but He's learned how to yes, refuel. In theory. Alright, well, you can grab the refuel and I'll grab resupply. Uh, Chief? What? Which Chief? They're over there. I'm getting my quad. Oh, okay. What's, what, what's going on then? Oh, he's just gonna go rearm the bird. Food just gotcha. asked her to run over there. That's my sentiments, but might as well jump on. Y'all talking about me again? Always. Always, and that's a good thing. Oh. Looks like we've got uh, someone else coming in. Yep. Yeah, see the the visibility is a lot better now. It looks like the ceiling's lifted. Yeah. Um, I, I I don't know if you heard me calling it up on seven one, but basically before we got back to base, the ceiling was at least a thousand meters AGL. Oh well, that's good then. Honestly, I don't think it's going to be worth taking Lancer up in the current um, conditions. Especially yeah. them being in towns, we're not Did you doing. Do you want to go with Warlord? Oh, I'm I'm happy to uh, keep on scramble with Phoenix and Lancer if need be. Okay. It really don't worry me. Fair enough. Just thought I'd offer. Did you guys get any gun runs in, or mostly just recon tonight? We haven't fired a single round. Hmm. Yeah, I noticed you were getting really damn close. Is it because the visibility was that bad? Yeah. Shit. I oh, just hit the bird. Of course he did. Before you can teach him how to fly, you gotta teach him how to drive. Dang it, I knew I forgot something. <laughs> Dang, Nevit. I didn't hit the bird, did I? Mm, no. Maybe. Oh. Oh, it wasn't you. Huh. That's even more worrying. Keep your wings there, Chief, but you, do we need to revoke your driver's license? I thought you guys needed a little light. <laughs> I thought you hit the bird. Oh, I just saw a wild ivory run by. Oh, uh, fair enough. Yeah, he's getting on board. He's uh, looks like he's going to be scrambling up in thunder. Right, I'm going to go talk to him.
down the Phoenix on Sam One, can you hear us? Where did my quad go? I've got a quad sitting over here with no one using it. No, I drove my quad over here and it's not here. Uh, a certain uh, first, uh, second lieutenant may have uh, borrowed it. God darn it. <laughs> Does anyone on Seven Zero have uh, comms with Thunder? Dagger, this is Warlord. Wait one, we'll see if we can get him raised up. Can copy, take the mic. Thunder, this is Warlord on Seven One. Now copy. Goodbye, Thunder. Dagger, Warlord, seven zero. Warlord, stand by. Thunder, this is three one. Did he? Did you get it? Well, where did? What you, you? That? That what you're looking for, Chief? Uh, I was looking for Adoran. In the bed. I don't know where Thunder is. Thunder just uh, went and took a nap. Oh yeah, apparently. Are we still on pause X? I believe so. Yeah, I can. Yeah, he took a nap hardcore. I think we're we'll attack at 7 go ahead. Dagger, this is Warlord 7 0. Be advised, looks like. Um... Thunder was temporarily back in Washington, but uh, he's getting flown back in. We'll, we'll have him online shortly. Yeah, good copy. Uh, be advised, I just need a update from him on whether his TGP is working properly. I know 6.3 had issues with the TGP. We're just going to check if 6.2 does. And uh, if he can advise me once he's completed his test flight, I can advise Task Force Commander will roll from there. Yeah, that's a lot of traffic. I'll just have him call you on 7.0. <laughs> Roger. Also be advised our pause X is now concluded. Task Force is preparing to resume movement at this time, continuing west to our final uh, town on this western, sorry, eastern lake before we uh, turn south. Did you hear that? Resume. I like that. Resume. Be advised. Uh, What's wrong with that? There was some. Oh, it's an accent. Took out that. ETR to the east. To what start. accent? He doesn't have an accent. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the BTR that was spotted earlier um, has never taken care of. Uh, right. as as why. Honestly, I can't see how you guys see an accent with with any of us. Because I don't see uh, an accent yeah, with I'm... you guys. Yeah, it definitely is there. Man, it got dark. Dang. What time is it? Let's see. 1800. Wow, it gets dark quick. Must be the winner or something. Hey, LT. 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 
LT. LT. Stop. I'm trying to play something. Can't hear you. You're on Whisper or something. No, I'm not. Oh, yeah, um, when when you get uh, situated with your radio, Dagger's trying to get a hold of you. He's got some traffic that it was way too long for me to freaking copy. Yeah, I'm... Okay. Yep. All right, thanks. <laughs> we all look like uh, scavenging rats trying to get after him. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Thunder 6 to your radio track on Frank with C70. 6 2, you got you 5 by 5 on 70. <laughs> Is it time for a disco light show? Roger that. Did you want me to lift? Thought I had a flashlight. Uh, I guess I don't. Three, yeah, go ahead, do a quick test flight, make sure that you can actually see some stuff, and then let me know how you get on. Wait, do you not see a flashlight? Roger right? that. That's no, not. Hang on, I can't. Yeah, no, there's definitely a flashlight on my guy. Uh, control L. I don't know if you guys can hear us, but for oh. the sake of time, I'm going to be just taking off. No, uh, control lemurs. Yeah, nope. Uh, have you got I mean, the black I, version I or the. Yeah, copy your last letter. Uh, have you got on. black or tan version? Uh, I have first. the black version. Yeah, that black version is bugged. You need the tan version for it to work. Really? Yep. Uh, let's see, where's the closest box? Uh, uh. Probably that way, actually. Way? Probably that way, distance-wise. I mean, there's more vehicles that way too, so you could always come back on a different quad. Yeah. What happened to your helmet? What the heck? <laughs> you look like a comer. <laughs> like a oh, what? Oh, I know. I had his helmet. That's why. Yeah, that. Yeah, it does that. Damn it. Well, like it's a time, what, so Chief? Anyway. You never heard of Gomer? No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> look. Is that some sort of an insult or? A very light one. How, how goofy does this look? Right? Like. You look like you've got a uh, sticky, sticky type to your forehead. All stations 7 0 be advised. Task force is approximately uh, half mounted back in the convoy at the time. Dagger, all aviation, deco assets, copy over. Copy. You okay? Well, usually when you got MVGs on and you look up, you can see every star in the sky, but not tonight. <laughs> Um, I think I'm gonna go back this way. <sighs> Jump on. What are you switching out? The helmet. Dagger, Thunder, 7 0 over. 6 2, go ahead. Be advised, I'm climbing up to about Angels 8 right now. Instruments seem to be performing fine. However, weather conditions weren't the same as before, it seems like. Okay, good copy and all. I will relay to Task Force Command that you are available for scramble if you wanted to go ahead and put it back down at uh, Greenwood at this time. Roger that, and back to Greenwood. Can I get my thumbs up? Off. What's up? Can I go get the truck? I'm coming back for it. What truck do you need? 
rearm check. That donut was not intentional. Wrong one, this one. Yeah, the rearm truck, please. Rudge, we're on our way over. We're waiting for the other three six to go for the C75 and the center four point from the runway. What's up, Nelly? Is rearm essentially the same thing, ace interact key? Yep. Which bird? The one closest to you, on the left. Uh, can you let the walk do it? Yeah, by all means. You want to run through it? I'm not there, I'm actually coming up behind you here. Ah, uh, Rudge. Right what do you guys want on it? Last one with three out, three five over. Uh, throw some ligers and... Uh, actually, yeah, throw two sets of ligers. In re to replace the rockets. We contact at this time. We are attempting to push through contact. To replace the Sorry. hydras? Yeah. Okay, right. that's come over here. Okay, for a world of copies. Okay, go to the bird, go interact and configure pylons. Okay. For world of copies. Okay. You got that up? Yep. Do you see where it says... In... Oh, disregard, disregard. Uh, loadout staying the same. Jump in, jump in. Yep, if uh, you could just get the truck out of the way. Yep, AFM, we're going to be back to Lancer. All station 7 0 half copy. Yeah, you're rolling copies. Good cop. I'm going to relay for Lancer to the uh, copy as well. Cheers, thanks, dude. I'm going to be a naughty boy and I'm going to leave the truck here. Ooh. I'm going to tell first. Oh, first sergeant won't care. It's Captain Soto that would. Captain Soto's not even on, so I can't tell. Greywood traffic, Warlord shows spooling, direct departure to the east. Interrogative call for Thunder as well. Uh, be advised he called for all air assets to scramble. Roger. Greywood Lancers, good sport, going to be lifting direct departure to the east. Greywood. Greywood ground under 6 2 trap uh, taxi to runway 17 for departure to the east southeast. All of lands are on point one. Uh, we're going to try to keep below three zero zero meters. Uh, let's try to use the ceiling as best as we can. I'm going to pop up as high as possible to make it practical. You can do Dang whatever you need. Uh, yeah, Roger, can you let us know when you're up there? Yeah, Roger. I'm already Stop passing the 300 meters AGL. Roger. One of the things you'll hear us say, especially from day two onwards in flight school, is aviate, navigate, communicate. They're the three things that you need to be able to do as a pilot. All stations 7 0, be advised the new tasking is going to be to establish a traditional order on the AO and uh, start closing intel and stand by the cat as it arrives. Lancer, good copy. Thunder. So does Dagger monitor all the same frequencies we do, or just the uh, air just, to ground? Just seven zero. So they'll sorry seven zero and seven nine. And then they've also got three one and three one point one on their short range, which is command and command 
HQ unit. Tiger, Thunder, Sensor, over. Shit. Time to go ahead. Be advised, make a few MREV and check in. Uh, uh, good copy, go ahead. Roger, we got uh, 14 Hydra 70s and uh, 14 Liger rockets, one CBU, uh, three GBU 12s, and AIM 9s. Pull out again, over. Time to say again, all after the three GBU 12. Uh, CB 103, uh, 89 Sidewinder. Warlock uh, Lancer, we're going to keep under back. 600. You, you can see you're above. 12, 14 Ligers, 14 Hydras on CB 103, and. So you get that? Copy, Lancer. I was just talking to Warlord, saying that oh, we're going to keep 600 meters and below. Uh, you're just asking for recon, correct? Yeah. Say again. You're just asking for some recon? Yeah, for right now, that's an A-firm. We believe uh, our force is going to be predominantly too close to friendly lines for cats, but if uh, we can't deal with this, we may have to bring you guys in anyway. Roger, uh, Interrogate, what is your direction of engagement right now? Okay. Uh, otherwise, we're engaging uh, contact out to the east and south of the Alright, do you see where friendlies are on your tablet? A-firm. So they're going to be about at 2 o'clock. 3-6, this is about 5-1 Yeah, at about 1-2-4 or 1-2-5. Dagger, 3-6, uh, we have any possibility of just getting this one. Over. Well, go ahead. Uh, I can firm. head back. Uh, I'll have a uh, station. I'll have a 4.5 doing reinserts to your yeah. northwest. Uh, be advised, uh, there is a lot of lasers going on down there. Four, uh, okay. Can we get okay. a little bit of uh, discipline up on that? Uh, 3-6, expect to hear back from me in no less than about, uh, two uh, good copy, minutes. uh, well, I'll do what we can, right, right. Well, I need someone to RTV and uniform change for reinforcement. Uh, hey, firm, we're tracking. Roger, a lot of traffic with dagger. Okay, good copy. copy. I need edgewise, I will. Uh, reference, uh, approximate LZ mark on the map, it's just behind the compound we're currently in. Dagger, Lancer, be advised, we're gonna be back to Greywood for uniform change. Good copy, you're already clear on that LZ. Call me when you're a couple of minutes away so we can get ready to play on the ground. At the northern end of the field. A firm, dagger copies. Uh, scratch that Lancer copies. Copy Lancer. Do you guys know what they're shooting at? It seems like the task force is divided up right now. They're moving towards each other. Uh, yeah, we just got on station trying to get a uh, good assessment uh, of what's going on. When we get in, can I get yeah, you to jump yeah, on the in. crew chief's gun? Lancer Warlord 711. Of uh, Phoenix? Of Phoenix, yeah. I'd prefer to ha yeah, have Lord. you right, right, on right, the gun. You are approaching your lines to your front, the crossroads. It's holding about a. I'd prefer to have you on the gun. T intersection. Rather than in co pilot seat. Yeah, you're more effective, especially in Phoenix. Um, you're going to be more yeah, effective on the gun if we need it. Okay, pilot side or uh, crew pilot uh, side? Got uh, coming in from crew chief, which I think is pilot east. side. Uh, Just whichever one crew chief yeah. is. Okay, good copy. Uh, hey, from it looks like a VMP. Greywood Air Base, right. Lancer's going to be in from your east, direct to the pad Lancer, for uniform change. Warlord Lancer, send on 71. Be advised that we had a call on 5 one from 3-6. The they are currently stationed to the northern side of the field, waiting for your uh, pickup with Phoenix. Roger, we're about 30 seconds out from the field. We're going to be touching down and uniform changing over. Roger, I'll leave it to you. I believe he's still monitoring 5-1. Yeah, Roger. Otherwise, that BTR is moving to your northwestern side right now, behind your line. Yeah, uh, yeah, that that BTR is approximately 11 nanometers from my face. I'm all over it. <laughs> 11 nanometers.
That VMB from the east is holding still, uh, probably 200 meters to your east. You're good. You're safe from it for now. For the record, this is going to be nowhere near neat. We're going over time instead of precision. Yep. Yeah. Uh, make sure your rockets come back on. Why don't we do reinserts in the uh, in Lancer? Uh, because we use Warlord uh, Phoenix because it's a little bit Be more armored. Be a second VTR coming from that same road I did earlier. Roger. I found my eye button. Now is the time to ask for cast. Greywood Lance is going to be signing off 75, transitioning to Phoenix. The south one on the east side and one on the west side of the town. I'll tell you how's it going. Oh, it was good. Uh, I fucking died. Ah, are you the only one? Uh, no, negative. Got some uh, children off in that direction. They're coming. Yeah, Rog. Uh, we're going to be taking this closest bird here, so. You guys have permission to board, uh, load them up. I'm going to hit, get the walk on one of the guns, just in case we take fire on the way out. Dagger, saying in your last traffic for Lancer, you cut off as soon as you started. Uh, only traffic for Lancer at this time is the uniform change for reinforcement. Yeah, that uniform change is in progress at this time. I'm on that door guy pilot pilot. Excellent. Matt, have I got any other guns? All station 7 there, yeah. uh, BTR is down at this time. Greywood Air Base, Phoenix is going to be signing on 75 spooling Mike 1 helicopter park. Uh, the other one I, I lost, I think, is there any trees or something? Say again, location, Thunder. Element? I can't get Greg, hold on, standby. Uh, let's see what that crew sheet is. Ah, no, 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 somebody's already on it. Roger that, it's right next to your uh, friendly vehicle. Grove Air Base thing's going to be lifting straight out departure right to the east. Grove Air Base 154, break 676. Just listening to 7 0, you guys are going into the ship. Yeah, I. Copy that. So that's just your pre warning. Copy. Dagger, Phoenix on 7 0. Phoenix, go. Advise when you're ready for reinserts, over. Be advised, another BTR approaching from the east fast. Say again, approaching from... From the east. What is it? Another BTR? Roger, BTR, BTR 60 or 70. Warlord, passing under you. It's about 200 Roger. meters and approaching. You got plenty of uh, meters. space beneath you. I'm uh, 1,000 meters AGL. Roger. Uh, yeah, currently sitting yep. at uh, Phoenix, Dagger 200. Zero. Dagger Phoenix, send. Phoenix, approximate ETA. Uh, 30 seconds, advise when you got smoke out. Be careful, I'm ETA right down here. Phoenix, reference, IRX, land on the X. AFM, landing on the X.
Hey. Get ready, gents. You've got about 30 seconds out. Copy, copy. Phoenix in already. Send for Phoenix. What's your reinforcement count? Current reinforcement count is standing at three over. Hey, good copy. You got eyes on our end? No, uh, negative visual at the moment. I'm coming in pretty low, but uh, visual on Skyward Bound Laser. Yeah, browser now. Okay, good copy. Uh, let me know when you're getting close. We're getting ready for you. We're ready for you here. Yeah, 10 seconds. Roger, have really. Get ready, gents. Cop, cop. Where are you? What's the town? Uh, we're currently uh, out to the out. west. You got friendlies in got front of us, anyways. Copy, copy. Uh, on the deck, out. Thank you, Chief. Get out. One, two, three. Phoenix, this is Warlord. Uh, if you could just uh, double like check the... your lights. Dagger, Thunder 7 0, Robert. Okay. Yeah, oh, I firm, I the spotted them too late. Like... The landing zone, or the landing uh, Phoenix. Yeah, so there's an M route with a bunch of dead bodies around it where we did have friendlies at. Uh, yeah, be advised, Dagger's on that location at this time. Everything's all up and up here. Roger. Dagger, Phoenix 7 0. Phoenix, okay. Three times on the ground, we're going to be RTB to Greywood over. Yep. But at least we didn't take uh, fire then. Yep. Do we have more guys to pick up or? I don't believe so. Floor is yours, Phoenix. I'm currently at 1,000 meters still. Yeah, Rog, we're sitting at uh, one two zero. Nice flight, by the way. There was not a lot to go on, and you made it in there. Seeing you, Harry Crunch. What was the huh? Seeing you, Harry Crunch. Uh, yeah, I got it. It took me a second there. <laughs> <laughs> Rog. Thunder, Dagger 7 0. Okay. Correction, Dagger, Thunder 7 0. Um, How do you do it? That hey, landing, guys, got, landing there is the probably one of the easiest ones to do okay. at night okay. when they've got their. when they can do a laser X for you. Because you're not having to spot for smoke or anything. And although they're not meant to do it, they will occasionally stick the laser up straight up in the air. So you get a visual of where you're going. But they're not supposed to do that. <laughs> not supposed to. Well, infantry aren't supposed to. Dagger is allowed. Um, but only for signalling measures. Greywood, Phoenix, in from the southeast. Going to be straight to the pad. I am way too fast. Collision lights? Ah, uh, 30 seconds, that's it. Thank you. I always forget that. Okay. 31 seconds, that's it. Say again, last seven zero. Just looking for contact back with Greywood, trying to ascertain whether or not we have more reinforcements at the time. Roger. Uh, stand by. Thanks, Dagger. 
flight. Thank you, Mike. Time to Phoenix in one cent. Do you have any more reinforcements over at Greywood? Uh, it doesn't look to be at the moment. I'll get back to you and confirm. Roger. Dagger Thunder, Sensor. Not again. Be advised, uh, Phoenix hasn't seen any more reinforcements yet. He's confirming right now. You copy Thunder, thank you, Mike. <laughs> Thunder, Wartlord on 7 1. Send it. You're not used to your new uh, role yet, are you? <laughs> no, can you tell me how I keep calling myself fucking thing? <laughs> yeah. Phoenix is going to be spooling down at Mike 1. Yeah, it's all good. Still makes it funny. Yeah, it, it can be like your... Uh... Oh yeah, it's an A from uh, Roger that. Hey, that Gunner. wasn't me. That wasn't me. <laughs> oh, you saw that. <laughs> yep, I saw it. Hey, hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're good. Thunder dagger on scratch that. <laughs> Thunder this is yeah, Lancer on seven one. Uh, be advised, uh, we don't have any other reinforcements Thunder currently at Greywood. Can you relay to Dagger as well as whether he wants us to stay on scrambled at Greywood over? Roger, standby. Zero by five on seven zero dagger. And now we wait. I'm not hearing me either. Dagger, this is Warlord on seven zero. How copy? Uniform seven zero. All right, there we go. Uh, just confirming whether or not you have any feedback from. Uh, Phoenix about those reinforcements. Roger that, he just called, uh, he's switching to Lancer, he's on standby, there's no reinforcements, he's waiting for scrape over. You copy my last dagger? Yeah, good That's for this relaying traffic. Uh, all station 7-0, be advised, you are cleared to Same space to RTB, Miller. Uh, dis disregard. Roger that, under RTB. Roger, we had Miller anyways. Warlord copies, RTB. Thunder, Warlord 7-1. Send it. What, what, what uh, runway are you looking for here? Mm, same way. Dagger, this will be five. Uh, that's us. Oh, okay. Roger. Hey, uh, no, nah, I've just the, forgotten to turn the, the collision lights off again. Or, uh, do we need RTV? I need to set up a hotkey. Okay. I keep forgetting. Transitioning to seven one seven five. Good day. Good day, Hunter. Greywood traffic. All road reactions to the zero. Be advised, you can uh, land up past Bosman cleared, but be advised, visibility is obviously quite we poor on the ground, and there's a lot of fucking trees. So, Say again. comfortable with that? Go ahead. We should return the aircraft. Go back to Greywood. Came from, shouldn't we? Uh, we probably should, but we are about to take off again. Dagger, we could take the landing, um, 
But are you guys actually at uh, index, or are we still uh, going to need to stay out airborne? Yeah, we're not index uh, at this time. Roger, we'll stay on station, and then we'll just uh, bring it in quick. We're going to be low, though, so we can not waste time. Well, yeah, sir, else. this is Warlord. Good copy. Uh, be advised, I'll give you an approximate... Warlord, this slants us in. Roger. I'm going to need to get in. Approximate grid of... Warlord, this is Lancer, uh, send. Probably 155670. 155670. Uh, Thunder, are you like the uh, Greyhound Airbase already? No, yeah, Afirm, we'll wait for no Thunder and we'll bring Phoenix back in. At least marked up. Uh, a, a firm salt. Uh, anyway. Warlord's going to be uh, landing no uh, in the field, so we'll just uh, meet you out there. Yeah, I firm, we'll let you know once we're taken off from here. Uh, yeah, just uh, since you're already there, uh, uh, yeah, just your discretion, I guess. All station 7 0 be advised, we're going to prep you a LZ standby for an IRX. Roger, Warlord is approximately. Thunder, this is uh, Phoenix on 7 1. Approximately 5 kilometers to your west um, at 500 meters. Good copy. If you tally visual lays, go ahead and uh, come in on that location. We're marking an exit this time. We'll and move to that grid, call. but we don't have visual this time, but we'll move to the grid you gave unless it's different. And then we'll look for the lays once we get closer. Yeah, good copy. Uniforms going blazer up. Roger, moving. Thunder's on the deck. Ground, another 6 2, all ground, clear active, exiting the aircraft, parking over. Thunder Phoenix on 7 5. Send for Thunder at 7 5. Uh, once you're parked up, do you want to make your way to the furthest most? Black Hawk will be waiting for you to get you back to the debrief over. Roger uh, that, uh, don't tie airborne lasers that are sticking up in the middle of the sky. Yeah, well, we'll go ahead and land on that location. At the source of those lasers? Roger. Greywood Phoenix is going to be spooling. You know, I've just figured out, we've did a bit of a boo-boo, because the far bird, as in the one up the other end, is the one that uh, actually has the resupply container in it. Greywood ground under 6 do we need aircraft parking shot down, for side, down seven, five, No, we don't, yeah, but put it down the field that's, uh, we should have taken that one in cost. before. Oh. Um, Run, LT, run! Better go. Front's lifting. Grey word, Phoenix is lifting, gonna be out to the east. Did you get to drop any ordnance then, LT? Nope. All I did was call out those armor, and that's all I did. But that's okay. I was just testing for uh, Hardman with the issues that were might have been happening. You can hear me, right? I can hear you. 
Okay, it's back sure. Dagger Phoenix seven zero thirty seconds out. Dagger wall, uh, dagger phoenix. Can we get uh, laser spot? Rudge visual gonna be ten seconds. I mean, no one hit the ground. I can't see anything. Yeah, Rudge. Uh, Phoenix, having seven says to stop being a pussy. Tell... no, actually, disregard, don't tell Havoc7 anything. On deck, sir. Work On up. deck. Yeah. Good call. <laughs> All my luck is to put his fucking tail up and it looked like a goddamn scene at the final destination in this bitch. <laughs> I sure it was 28 weeks later. That too. Alright, so those are the main things I had in terms of overall shit tonight besides what we, you know, talked about earlier when we paused. Uh, Captain, did you have anything? Yeah, what was the story on that MRAP that was left alone? On that final assault, 3-1 had to go and assist an MRAP that had guys down in it and had no friendlies around it. Uh, uh, Captain? Oh, was that for you? Okay, go ahead, LT. Yes, thank you, Captain. Uh, I believe that was uh, Point Vic, and we just took the brunt force of that contact, and it wiped pretty much the entire Vic out. Uh killing myself and a few others. Uh, uh, LT, if I can ask you that. Send it. Uh, Captain, uh, we, gave, we gave the order for my men to pop smoke, pull back to rest of the element, to get ourselves behind the rest of the element. So uh, by that time you guys arrived here, we were already at Havoc Force position, bandaging ourselves back up with the help of Sergeant Bergwald. Over. That's not... The Vic that 3-1 moved to to assist had only two guys in it the gunner was down when we saw it from like 300 meters away and we ran across 3-1 do you not know what Vic or what squad that was that you went to assist it's the one that hey, had the Captain. DTR pull right up on it that the that first three, sergeant that was 3 twos, Vic, Captain. okay so where was the rest of that squad were they all KIA why was the Vic right. out there by itself with two guys still alive in it if I may Captain yeah uh, the uh, reasoning behind us was when we were uh, approaching uh, the rest of the element as we just uh, finished batching ourselves back up, we went 
We got in the contact by two BTRs at the same time. We eliminated the first BTR with the uh, AT4 from Alpha, but the second BTR we had no other ways to eliminate it other than getting on the 50 cal because the vehicle itself didn't have any AT sticks either. So we had to get on the 50 cal and attempted to take down the BTR, but we uh, also got a uh, got men down from it. So that was when three found three one found this, and uh, you, I think I think three one destroyed it with their 40 mics as well. That's all I have, Captain. That was me that shot that second BTR with the 40 mics. I'm trying to figure out where the fucking squad leader was for that. He was patching up behind us from the first BTR contact, Captain. So, if I'm understanding this correctly, you guys were in the middle of withdrawing back from that position due to the BTR, and the other BTR cut you guys off. But, uh, negative, hey, so, actually, oh. I, I said a, a wrong instance. Uh, okay, Sergeant. Sergeant Smith, I didn't ask you to fucking speak. Okay, that wasn't my fault. All right. That was his squad. I know that I'm speaking to Sergeant Lee. Ask him if he was cut off while being pulled back. He just said yes, and then you said no. So he was there. You were back behind him. So now we have contradicting stories from two different people within the same squad that were in two different positions. So Sergeant Lee, were you guys in the middle of pulling back to the compound with Havoc 4 and then cut off with the BTR, or cut off by the BTR? Negative, Captain. We've already finished pulling I'm not back Captain. and patched us. Uh, sorry, first son. We already finished pulling back. We patched ourselves and we up and then we attempted to rejoin with the rest of the platoon up in the town. But then we got cut off by the second BTR. Okay. Sergeant Smith, is that what you were about to say? A firm top. Thank you. Regardless. So you guys... sorry, sorry, go Captain. ahead. So you guys were first on the scene getting back up to the truck. You hopped on the 50 to eliminate the BTR. That's correct, for sure. And the rest of the guys behind you then got cut off by the BTR and couldn't get up to your position until 3-1 got there and eliminated the BTR. I feel so. They were also busy patching themselves up. Roger. Sorry, Captain. All right. Make sure you go over exactly what happened there and how you can improve it in your platoon debrief. Second thing, same situation... We pulled guys out of that vehicle that were unconscious, and there was no more threat. The threat was all eliminated, and people were saying, pick these guys up and carry them. Where were you going to carry them? We had cover from the BTR that was 10 feet in, on, in front of us on the other side of the MRAP. There was nowhere to carry those guys. They needed to be treated. You guys need to understand when you need to treat someone who's critical, who's been down for a little while, which means they're just about to fucking bleed out if you don't get someone on CPR on them and the difference of when you need to pick them up and carry them to a safer spot. There was no safer spot than uh, right there. Captain, I told Captain, the, we had no CLS. Our CLS was KIA in the initial contact into the town and I received orders to get my wounded back into Havoc Force position, which was the compound, maybe 50 meters, 100 meters back right. on the road. Well, no one, no one there said, this guy's been down a while. Does anyone have CLS? Did you not realize another squad had moved up to help you? Because uh, our guy with CLS was right there. That right. was my mistake. Then. That's all I had. All right, thank you, Cap. Um, all right, so that s entire situation was obviously a shit show. We had BTRs pushing pretty goddamn close to us. Um, I don't know exactly who destroyed fucking any of them, pretty much, aside from now uh, the two there at the south. But those BTRs got in pretty damn close, but they were destroyed fairly quickly. Um, could have been a little bit quicker here or there. I know at one point, 3-4 uh, had a weapons element detached down to the, like, southeast there. Were you guys, did you guys actually engage anything that, down there to the southeast? I know I heard the Maws firing. I just didn't know if you guys actually hit anything or what, because I didn't have actual eyes on the impacts. Uh, XO, did you have anything tonight? Hey, from first start, the only other thing I'll say on this, guys, is during that last in that last town you guys were at, after all those BTRs, that shit show got dealt with, and they were all dead. I did a walk around, and you guys are set up in 360. Saw a pretty decent 360 setup with the VIX and all that, so good job on that. Uh, both of the squad leaders between HQ making sure that that shit was getting done. So, um, good job. Make sure you guys are always doing that. Anytime we're going on defensive posture like that, you guys are doing it. So, uh, that's all I got right now at the top. 
All right, thanks, LT. Um, I will say you guys were in good enough fucking security posture that XO felt the compelled to radio me and tell me that you guys were in a good fucking security posture. So nice job on that. If you did well enough to fucking impress the XO, I'm happy with it. Uh, the Lieutenant Margiota, anything from have three tonight? Nothing for the task force, first of All right, thank you, LT. Uh, Sergeant Van Harlem, anything from four? Nothing from ever four. Thank you, first Sergeant. All right. I know you guys didn't get uh, too many fire missions, if any, out tonight, but you also had some pretty hairy fucking situations there at the end. Hopefully you guys all came out all right. We made it through, first Sergeant. All right. Uh, Chief, anything from DECO tonight? Uh, first Sergeant, nothing for the task force. All right. Nice, uh, nice cast runs there earlier on from Warlord. I know your guys' flight ceiling was really low tonight. Uh, I'm not sure if Lieutenant Avery here, anything from Thunder tonight? I know you weren't flying all night, LT. Uh, nothing for me, it's for Sergeant. All right. Anything from the rest of you related to the task force? Give me a quick CRQ and chat. Absolutely. Oh, there's always one. Actually, it's the one I forgot. Of course. Aries. Thank you, Top. Uh, did you all have a good time tonight? Oh, 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 oh. I know at least six of you are lying. Uh, I would like to, uh, I guess, give a shout out to either the 240 gunner or the 50 gunner that uh, pinned the BTR that was right on top of uh, Havoc 4. Uh, you managed to kill all of the crew inside without actually making it go catastrophic and killing all of Havoc 4. So, fucking kudos on whoever killed that one. Hey, go see ya. That's all I had, Top. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Before I uh, let you guys go, anybody tell me what the next training phase is? Mount Top. Mount. Mount. Everybody knows that's my favorite, right? Y'all motherfuckers going to learn something next phase. All right. That's it. You guys are dismissed. Nice job tonight. Look off. Get out of here. Yep. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday night. Tell your section leaders not to keep you too long. It's National Fucking Pizza Day. Go eat some pizza. Oh, what's up? Already did. You know, it never fails. Like uh, when I'm trying to enter a room and y'all enter at the